so now that the carpet is in I am pulling it down to where he wants the trim to lay and I'm just trimming it up and then this carpet here we're just gonna go around this edge yeah because that kick panel lay right down on that And then maybe cut out just a little bit up there for the uh, the headlight dimmer switch. Okay. So is it okay to come around here? Yeah, just keep it close to the wall. Because we got that kick panel, but it's going to be fastened to the wall, but I don't think it'll actually, it shouldn't come way out in the floor, you know. You could actually probably leave a little bit of it, just to, you know, maybe like a half inch or a quarter inch of it up the wall. I could just tuck it right in behind that kick panel, which would be fine. Being left-handed in a right-handed world is difficult. I don't want to hear that. It is. Left-handed people are generally smarter than right-handed people. So right-handed people make it harder on the left-handed people. Exactly. You've got an unfair advantage. You were born smarter than us. That's what it is. And don't be fooled, trimming this stuff ain't easy. It really ain't easy to trim this stuff in and get it right. I don't want to cut too much and don't want to cut too little either. It's always best to cut a little at a time and just keep trimming it until it fits. You take a big honking chunk off of that, but you need a big gap. Well, that's game over. And utility knives just does not cut this carpet very good. Even a new new utility knife don't seem to want to cut it very good. Not like those scissors cut it. Yeah, that'd be good. I would start running back up the wall though with it. I can't hardly get into it. Let me see if I can get positioned better. Once we get this trimmed in, me and Bubba will bring the seat out here and set the seat in and bolt it down. And I actually feel like we're getting somewhere with this thing. That work right there. The kick panel cover all that. Should be good. I may want to cut you like a half moon out around my dimmer there. And actually you don't have to cut the whole dimmer out, just cut it around the switch, that'd be fine. Yeah, that'll work right there. I got a little foot on the one in the Cadillac. Yep. I may get a little foot for this one too. Oh my. You don't like, she don't like the little moon eye feet, but I like them. <clears throat> actually, the one in the one in my Cadillac, my gas pedal, I've actually had that, that foot for probably close to 15 years <laughs> now. It's yeah. been in two vehicles only. The first vehicle I ever built and sold and now to my favorite vehicle I've ever built. Mm -hmm. Well, I like this car too. I just, the Cadillac, oh, the Cadillac's just a Cadillac. The Cadillac is our baby. Well, you don't see many of them. And that one's in stupid good shape. But I do like this car, but I mean, like I said before, I've said multiple times, I really like this car, only one for a long time. But, and I'm not, I'm not, in love with it like I am that cattle hat. I want that truck back, that 54 5 winter. That's the one I want back. Yeah. I shouldn't have never sold that. Nope. 
But when you ain't got no money. Well, we we could have kept it, and I told you you could have kept it. But nope, you had to sell it. I had to go to work, and you sold it. Well, I that's mean, how that played out. It's not how it played out. All right. Now here's a sneak peek of what the back seat will look like once it's in there. And we're not done with the carpet yet. We do have most of it trimmed in. We've still got some work over there on that edge now to do. But we're getting there. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, work on these front kick panels. You can see she's got those all wrapped up. So I'll put you guys right in here. Axel, hand me the kick panel for this side. We're going to work right up in this corner right here. And the kick panel over there. I don't know which one it is. It's one of the two with the holes in them. But I don't know which side is which. Let me see. Just hand me one and I'll see which. There's both of them. It's this one. Aye. That one goes on that side. You see they just slide right up in here. He's going to get the marker. So, we'll put a couple of bolts on the outside of this kick panel, right in here. Probably one about right here at the bottom, and one at the top. And then, that, will, that should hold it. So it goes in, and she'll mount up just like that right there. And then we have our inside vent piece that we'll have to put on. We'll get through this side. That side over there is not bad. So I'll have to get a screw, a couple of screws, and then I'll have to mark where I'm gonna drill my holes. I'll, I'll have to put a little incision in this and then drill my hole. And then I'll probably just use a couple of basic self tappers to hold it in place. And it'll look, you know, it'll look pretty good. I can go back and I can cut, I can cover those screw heads with gray or I can leave them shiny or I can paint them black I guess I don't really want to do black but either way all right I'm gonna go ahead and put this vent on first and then we'll slide this panel in and we'll put screws here and here may have to put one in the center don't know yet but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna mark my two holes top and bottom right here and then I'm going to put a relief cut into this. Because if you don't put a relief cut in it, when you start in with these screws, they'll just wind the material up. And it'll be a heck of a mess. I'm just using some basic sheet metal screws, nothing major. Get a kit of them over at Harbor Freight, what, nine bucks or so. There's one. That looks great. put this in. I'm just going to use the same screws just a little bit longer to connect this thing in there. Oh, hand me those scissors off the top of uh, the big black toolbox. I need to cut this little ear off up here. I like this material. It looks good. We don't typically do gray like this, so this is something new. <laughs> Let 
we usually do black. Alright, let's take that ear off right there. Black toe. Right out there. Now you'll have to come around probably in the corner right here. And I'll have you come down and pull this into the wall when I get it about where I want it. That's a drill driver right there. And I'll, what I'm going to do now is just going to make, I'm going to put it in there exactly where it goes. And I'm going to make a couple of dots. If it feels good, then I'll just go ahead and cut my relief holes while it's in there and then just screw it straight in. So let's try it here and see what we can do. Let me check the metal back here. Yeah. I'm going to put one right in the bottom. I want to push that bottom in just a little bit right there. Now. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Happy with that. Right there. Make a relief cut here. Okay. I'm going to go back and put this longer screw in the bottom and then if I have to I'll just pull it out and put a shorter one in. Yeah. That looks good. It does. Is she good in uniform? Alright. So that takes care of that kick panel. And now we'll go over to that side over there and put that kick panel on. I wanted to go ahead and put these kick panels in now because once the driver's seat is in it's it won't be near as easy so just like last time we'll pull the kick panel out and we'll go ahead and put on the vent first right. now we got our vent on and we'll do the same thing we did over there Except over here it's a lot easier because you don't have all that crap in the way. Basically the only thing you have over on this side is that um, the vent cable itself. So it's not too bad. Now let's move everybody up here where you can see what's going on. Well, just like last time, I'm going to have him, we'll get this right where we want it, lined up on this outer edge. That looks pretty lined up to you? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and make my marks, and then we'll make our relief cuts. i got plenty of metal up there to screw into, so we'll put one there. I'm going to try to go right here and put one and then we'll see about that bottom that bottoms might not have to have one there so like I said you can come back and uh, paint these heads gray if you want to they don't stand out Let's go ahead and just put the top one in first and then uh, I may I may take that mark off and redo it, I don't know. We've well, we got the carpet in. We've got the side pillars in. We've got the front kick panels in. And now it's time for the seat. So we're going to do this next, we'll put this feet in and then finish up trimming the headliner and all that. And then probably move on to that back seat after that. But, we're getting there with it. we to clean out the inside of the car here and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and set the camera up and put this seat in.
smelled very crumb to me. That, <laughs> no, it ain't like the Thunderbird in the door for you come out there that hole. Is in. Sliding the lock work right too. Moves like it's supposed to. Now the next order of business. We got this insulation. This is some stuff you can buy at Walmart. Uh, we use this for dishwasher. Mm -hmm. We put our dishwasher in for insulation. It's what I had left over. I put this on the back wall as a sound detonator between the car and the front. Oh, the air compressor can't be part of it. You get the carpet in, the rest of the car going back together, it goes pretty quick. See, you now them hooks, we'll have to cut those hooks out because that's what hooks the back seat. I don't know if no, just let's just go to the inside of the fender well. Right there. We only got to cut out that center hook. Right, we can go and leave that M on it bowed. Let me cut this off. Alright, and then go ahead and run a tape up your side to hold it up. Couple pieces up here at the top. Let me see. That right there. That would be good. You put another piece right there. That would be good. The seat's gonna hold it in there too. So. Move them uh, corner pillars out of the way. I'm way up too high over here. I'm, I'm too far down. You go ahead and work your side in. You know. Well, you go my way. There you go. Well, okay. You should be able to get yours in right there. You're in. Yeah. 